Welcome to Afterthoughts, where we keep the cameras rolling and the mics on for a little post-discussion from episode 15, 12 Rules of Life. So I know when we were we were prepping, we were reading this book, um, and you were, I think it was, was it chapters seven and eight, and it starts to get a little dark, and you you were in a dark place, and, and you you kept telling me how you were in this dark place. I was. I was. Yeah, and, and I think, I know you don't agree, but I think that you needed to go there. <laughs> really? And it, I don't think, it, I don't know, dude. Yeah, it's weird and it's tough, and I we keep we keep coming back to it. We keep talking about it, but I yeah. think I think you needed to be there. I think you needed to go to that dark place, but and and you had to go there and you had to pull yourself out of it. And then after you after you went there for a few weeks and you pulled yourself out of it, now you're at this point you're at now, and you've got this newfound energy and this newfound optimism. And I think you had to go through that darkness to to ride that through the chaos to get to where you're at now, to have this energy and this level of energy and excitement and enthusiasm I haven't seen from you in, in a long time. Well, I, you know, I, I hate to disagree with you, but um, I mean, it's rough because that was a dark place, dude. Yeah. That was, that was dark and it seemed to spiral downward. Like, you know, those of you that know me, maybe you say it wasn't that bad. I mean, like for me, that dark place, I mean, I didn't go off the deep end, but I just, I felt so much negativity in those three, four weeks. I don't know how long that was, right? Was it three, four weeks or something? It was like a that. few weeks, yeah. yeah. And like, I, I, you know, but getting back to the whole, this book, this book talks about being on the borderline, right? Yeah. Like being right in the middle right like i'm gonna go like this because this is the yin yang symbol right but like being right in the middle of it i think is where the power is harnessed it from. for me i think i went a little bit further into the chaos like i stepped into the chaos and i let it drag me under so i'm in agreement with you in the fact that i did need to go into the chaos however i firmly believe that I got pulled into it further than I needed to be. I'm, I'm, I'm to sure get, that's absolutely possibly true. You don't need to go fully into the chaos because you get stuck there. I think in yeah. my past, I've been there. You've seen me in my down times. I've been mm -hmm. way worse than that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, and I've, I've been in that chaos, so I know how to come out of it. I knew yeah. I needed to come out of it. Yeah. So I, I gradually did, but like that was one of those instances where I was pulled in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Again, those of you that watched the episode and like you're watching this after thoughts now, man, don't halfway read that chapter. If yeah. You're gonna halfway read that chapter and then try to go to sleep. I uh, don't, that don't. is definitely rule six, dude. Don't don't start reading that chapter and leave yeah. it unfinished. You, yeah. you might get pulled in. That's just my opinion. Yeah. But um. But, but that's just kind of like, yeah. What what's right. interesting? But because yeah. I I read the same thing. I I I intellectually understood what you were saying, but I did not experience that. Mm. So therefore, you know, were you already tipping into some type of chaos, and all you right. needed was that little devil on the end to say, "Nah, -uh, buddy, come on in." Right. Versus well, I was yeah, not tipping on that chaos. Because I'm I'm constantly trying to be there. You know what I'm saying? In chaos? No, in the on the border. On the border. You're constantly living on that border, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. One foot in things that you don't know, one foot in things that you've mastered. Like yeah. it's easy to fall off. Right. Like, you know, I mean, I don't know if the again I keep talking about this, but Nickelodeon's the avatar. You remember that cartoon that you watched, dude? Like anyway, but um it's uh about the avatar right like he goes away for like a hundred years and then he comes back this little boy with the arrow on his head and uh you know part of that whole thing is like his strongest power is becoming into what's called the avatar state right in the avatar. The wind power yeah, solar yeah, exactly. yeah. Oh, okay yeah. i remember you. yeah i remember that yeah so like you know part of that avatar state is him grabbing all of his past <laughs> and pulling them together in one point and he becomes strongest. So that's his strongest point, but that's also 
his weakness. Because if he gets killed while in the avatar state, the avatar ceases to exist for all of eternity. That's powerful, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the point where you are most powerful, yet at the same time, you are most vulnerable. You're the weakest at your most powerful state. Right? And that's the whole thing, yin and yang, right? They also yes. do. And that's kind of where it's at. So if you're constantly riding that line of being in halfway between, like you're right, it is easy. It just takes one little tiny thing to grab you and pull you into the darkness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then once you get there, like you got to learn how to come out of it. Like not, not saying for those of you out there that, you know, you shouldn't follow the rules of this book or try to live on that. However, just be aware that that can happen. You know, same thing too. When you're also on riding on the border, you can be pulled into the border. Yeah, you know, and you can live there and be be prosperous. But you yeah, I was there forever. I mean, that was just for me. That was one of those moments I was in the avatar state per se, and I, I just got sucked in. I mean, yeah, I know that's that was a tough thing, but man, I just something about that just it just right. resonates with me to say like, man, you you had to go through that, even though. It, sounds stupid like like fuck i why would i want to be there i don't want to be there. i never wanted to be there right. i don't know something about that i can't articulate it well just, i mean you're right though like you have to go into darkness like yeah if you don't go into the realm of the unknown if you don't try something that you've never tried before if you don't put yourself in a place where you're uncomfortable like you're not going to learn yeah. Right? You talk about yes. that. You can't teach the man who knows everything. Yeah. You know everything. Yep. None but of us can. If you already know everything, you got to bring yourself somehow. You got to bring yourself either through humility or being humble, or maybe you just got to have some guy riding on a higher horse knock you off your horse. Whatever it's going to take, right? I guess that's that's what it was, right? I got knocked yep. off my horse. Yeah. Now you don't have a horse anymore. Guess what? You got to get back to basics. You got to bring that power from within and then get back up on your horse after you got knocked in. Like, that's part of life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then sometimes yes. when we're taking a look at all of these things that we're talking about in this book, like being truthful, right? Being precise in your speech, like not lying to people. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just a lot of people who got knocked off their horse and they're not, they're not ready to get back on. You yeah, it, it's so easy to stay there. It's so easy to continue to tell small lies white lies lie to yourself lie to the people right. around you so you can uh, we were just, stay we were there just talking about that, the dragon in the house right like yeah. you don't want to admit that that dragon's there no saying but you, he'll, he'll you, continue gotta, to grow. you know but you yeah if, if you don't cease that he's going to continue to grow and all of a sudden your life's yeah. going to be on the balance so yeah. you know i i you know at the end of this conversation i think you're right dude like yeah yeah i needed that I needed to get down there and just get pulled into that dark place or that part of feeling helpless or, yeah. you know, so for those of you out there, if you're in that situation, you know, know that there's hope. You, if you can get yourself out of that situation, right, yeah. that you're in now, you're going to be a completely different person. Yeah. You're going to be a way better person, if, if not forever, at least for the moment, you know. Once you get out of there, you're gonna feel that sense of pride. You're gonna feel that sense of accomplishment, like like you've done something, you know. And then there's there's a lot of ways to get out of there, you know. Just yeah, but but that's what it takes. So I think you might be right about that. And that's that 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 brings something to mind. Like I mean, it's nice that you can now. We had this this, com, this similar conversation a couple of times prior, and you were like, no, that I, I shouldn't have been there. That doesn't make sense. It's, it's interesting now that you've kind of rolled over and said, you know what, I think there, may, even though I didn't like it and I, I, I don't still think I should have been there, I recognize that maybe there's something to that. Like that, yeah. that in itself is, is something. And it reminds me of like, you know, like um, like Robin Williams and stuff like that. And then recently Kate Spade, you know, they committed suicide. And we look at these people, especially, you know, I'll, I'll speak about Robin Williams. And like, you, when you look at him, you look at his life and the things he did, he did everything he wanted to accomplish. He set out to be everything. He was an amazing person. He was funny and all these things, but really at home, he lived in darkness. Yeah. And, and I don't, I can't speak to him and I don't want to speak on things I don't know about, but from my perspective, either it was him or the people around him, they never 
he never got out of the darkness. And he ne whether whether he never realized it or he didn't want to, whatever it was, I don't know. I can't speak to that. But if if he could have had this moment like you've just had, and come out of the darkness, yeah, he would have made the next best movie. He would he could still yeah. be around. And just like Kate Spade, she recently hung herself, and yeah. seem, seemingly. I've heard several, you know, podcasts with her, and she just seemed like an amazing person to overcome. Came so much in her life, and 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 so much wealth, and and so much things, and she seemed like a happy person. Or maybe this a conspiracy. Maybe those two are still alive. With <laughs> they hang out with Tupac and Biggie. <laughs> Wherever this island is, we need to figure you know this out. Go there. You know what I'm, <laughs> I'm glad we can laugh about it, but it. If you're there, anybody listening, if you're there, understand that there is a way out and there is hope. Right. And, but you've got to recognize it. You yeah. gotta you gotta admit it. And it's tough. You know, and, and we had another recent friend that also passed away from similar circumstances and it's like you know. Right. And you know, tough. sometimes if you're in that place, hate to say, like sometimes the, the cure is, is worse than the disease. Like mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like sometimes to take that internal step of self realization and, and figure out what you do, like that's a that's a blow to the face. That's like getting punched in the face. Yeah. And you know what I mean? At first you don't want that punch, you don't want to get worse because you're already in a bad place. But sometimes yeah, you're right. You you gotta dive down into the darkness and stay there for a little bit. So that you can come out on top, like you know, just because of the things that you're doing, if they're hurting you, if if they're if they're painful, like don't think that is as is not part of the process to get better. Yeah, do the right things. We all know as human beings, like we contain wisdom, right? Like that's what he talks about in the book. Mm -hmm. We contain wisdom, but we don't even know how it got there. Yeah. Like everybody can look at a situation and know that something is right or something is wrong, right? And you know that if you're doing the right thing, it's painful, it's hurtful, but you deep down, you know, that you know that it's the right thing to do. Like, keep yeah. doing it. I urge you, yeah. keep doing the right thing. You know? And, and Especially if those around you are saying stop. Yeah. If you know it's right, you know what I mean? Go to yeah. it. Yeah. Reach keep for that it. light. Right? You want to become part of the good. You want to become part of the light. You want to step into the order. Mm -hmm. Start from within yourself, right? Be that white dot. In the yin and yang symbol yeah. you are that white dot eventually you're going to become the other half of the yin and yang symbol but yeah. you got to start from that white dot get on that island and yeah start start making a bridge all right well just some afterthoughts for you people absolutely yeah. that was great that was good stuff yeah thanks guys Hey, thanks for joining us on this special experimental episode of Afterthoughts. Let us know what you guys think. We should keep going. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on YouTube and all your favorite social media and podcast platforms. And until next week, have a great night.